I, I merely say that I found these exchanges quite predictable. They have been well rehearsed before we took place. I do think the Prime Minister, with the greatest respect, has a tremendous skill in keeping his straight face whilst he's being so disingenuous. <laughs> The fact, is, the fact is, he's now desperate to have an election in order to bring this House's proceedings to an end and to have the general election clearly before October the 31st. And he's obviously going to campaign before that on the basis that he's been thwarted in getting an amazing beneficial deal for this country, uh, which is actually being blocked by wicked continental politicians and by. <laughs> Politicians and the MPs in the House of Commons who have no sense of the true national interest, which is to keep him in power. And it's wrong to say that the opposition to him is trying to reverse the referendum. A very large percentage of those who have been defeating him in the last two days are prepared to vote for Brexit. They voted for Brexit more often than he has. He caused delay. Uh, in March, and he caused delay in April, but we wish to do so on satisfactory and reasonable terms. We now have a bill which is the beginning of a pathway to actually give us more time for grown up, sensible, diplomatic exchanges between countries. The idea that on the Europe, in the European Union uh, that they are refusing as a deal. Uh, because you know, they really think they are going to trap us in permanently is nonsense. Uh, they are desperate to get a deal, but they, of course, they are desperate to get a deal, but not so desperate that they are going to accept terms which will cause chaos in Northern Ireland, politically and economically, and will shatter the normal rules which hold together the single market and the customs union upon which they are based. The Prime Minister has thrown down dramatic conditions which he must know make any sensible negotiations pointless unless he changes his direction. I, he's, he's now Prime Minister. Uh, he's now a responsible politician with huge responsibility. I, 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 I urge him one last time to stop treating all this as a game and to use the time to actually get a serious resolution of these impossible problems to look after the future goodwill of this country, keeping us in a proper, no doubt different relationship with our partners on the continent, and in particular, keeping our economic and trading relationships intact.